Okay, what you're going to learn in this tutorial here is our player character. The uh, animation sprites will be provided for you in the description. Basically, our character, as the character is out of the water, the character moves at normal speed. The character jumps and falls at normal speed. When the character jumps into the water, though, you can see the character slowly goes down into the water. The character also moves slower while they go through the water. The character can get to the ledge and jump out of the water as well. So this is what you're going to be learning today uh, as you work your way through this tutorial. Hi, this is Ali Arango from Game Visuals as well as LittleGuyCGI.com. Today I want to show you how to make working water inside of GDevelop 5. So let's get started. Okay, when I say working water, what I mean is uh, when I was show what I want to show you today is basically you'll have a player and your player when they move around on land, the player will move normally and then when the player jumps into the uh, water that we make, the player will slow down. The player will have a, uh, a different speed to them than they would have on LAN. Uh, so that's what we're going to be going through today. Now, when we start uh, these projects, or the way I like to start these projects, I like to start from scratch. So here you are looking at the uh, GDevelop startup screen. So the first thing we're going to do is go to File, and then we're going to select Create a New Project. We're then going to go down to empty game and you can see this says start a new game from scratch. We're going to left click there. Okay, so here we are in our new game. The first thing we need to do is look to where we see scenes. We need to go to this plus. When I click this plus, we're actually going to make a new scene. So I'm going to click that. So here's our new scene right here. So now that we have this, we're going to left click on that new scene. And now we see this objects panel open up over here. I'm going to click here to temporarily take that menu away. If we want to get that back, we could just click right here. So let me click that again. Okay, the first thing we want to do is get our player set up. So I'm going to click the plus button here. I'm going to go to Sprite. And then where we see new objects, I'm going to change this to player. Then I'm going to go to where these uh, sprites are at after I click this uh, plus button here. So uh, now that I click that plus button, I'm going to click this plus button to the left. And then I'm going to go to where the uh, sprites that I have are at, which are here. By the way, these uh, animation frames, I'll put a link to any of the descriptions so you can get to these. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to Blockman Idle Frames. I'm going to double click here. And these are the frames I made. I made these frames in uh, Blender, if you're interested. Uh, I'm going to hold control. While holding control, I'm going to press A. That selects all of, of the frames. I'm then going to click open to bring in those frames. Uh, so now these frames are here. For this animation zero, I'm going to name this idle since these are our uh, idle frames. And this is important right here, by the way. This name is very important. So what I'm going to do now is look to where we see this don't loop. I'm going to click this. So now this animation will loop. I'm then going to click this preview button so we can see. There's our animation previewing. I like how that looks, so I'm going to click OK. And then now that we have that idle, we want to bring in our walk frame. So we're going to click this plus button here. We have this animation one here. I'm going to click here and type in walk. Now I'm going to go to this plus to the left. And I'm going to bring in those walk frames. So we have uh, these walk frames here. I'm going to hold control A to select all these frames. I'm then going to click open. And I want these frames to loop as well. So I'm going to click don't loop, which now makes this go to loop. I'm going to click preview to uh, see. I like how that looks. Now I'm going to click this plus to the right again. Scroll down. I'm going to go to where we see animation 2. I'm going to type in jump. I'm going to click this plus to the left. And now we have these uh, jump animation frames. So I'm going to hold control, press A, click open. Now for these jump animation frames, we don't want this to loop. So we're going to leave this 
as it is. I'm going to click preview. And when you don't have an animation loop, you can just click replay to see your animation. That looks fine. So I'm going to click OK. And then I am going to click apply. Okay, so we have our uh, player set up. There is something that I forgot to do. So I'm going to double click here. And then now we see this uh, properties uh, where we can select properties here as well as behaviors. We want to left click on behaviors. Once I click that, that brought us here. We can see there's, there's this uh, purple outline uh, or purple underline underneath behaviors. Now we want to click this plus behaviors to go into behaviors. Now we see platform behavior amongst all these other behaviors. We want to left click on platform behavior. All of these uh, controls here are fine. So now we're going to click apply. So now that we have uh, our behavior set up as well as our animation frames, our animation frames still have to be programmed. I'm going to left click and drag this over. I'm rolling my mouse wheel back. The reason why I'm doing this, and this is going to be our work area. So you can see our player is very big. So I'm going to hold shift, go right to this uh, corner. And then while holding shift, I am just scaling him down. And I'll move him over like that. Okay, when you hear me talk about programming, one of the nice things about GDevelop is it lets us use as little code as possible. So uh, there's a very small amount of code, but almost nothing. Uh, GDevelop is uh, spectacular for artists in regard that uh, pretty much, you, for the most part, you can work. And uh, I think it's set up in a way where you pretty much can figure things out. Uh, it's it's good stuff. Anyway, uh, what we, we have is our player right here. We need to bring in a... Uh, ground for the player to stand on. So what we're going to do is go to the right. We're going to click on this plus button here. We're going to left click on Sprite. And then we're going to go to where we see a new object. We're going to change this to ground. OK, one of the nice things about GDevelop amongst a lot of nice things about it is it has a graphic uh, editor built into it. So I'm going to click this plus button here. And now what I'm going to do is go to Edit with Piskel. And this takes us into the uh, graphic editor built inside of GDevelop. Now I'm going to go to this color right here. I want a brownish color, so I'm going to this yellow here. I'm going to make this a brownish color. I'm now going to click on uh, this paint bucket here. Click here. I'm going to go to New Object. I'm going to name this ground. It's not necessary to name this, by the way. You could leave this what it was and everything would still work fine. I'm going to click save. So now we have this uh, piece of ground right here. Now uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go to behaviors. And now we see this purple uh, underline underneath the behaviors. Again, we're going to go to this plus to the right. And now we see our list of behaviors. So for this, for these behaviors, we want to go to platform. As far as uh, the default settings, these are good, except I'm going to turn off ledges can be grabbed. And then with that done, I'm going to click apply. So now I'm going to click on this ground and then I'm going to left click and drag this out onto our scene. I'm going to move this over here. I'm going to this square right here. I'm just dragging this out. And this button right here allows us to preview. I'm going to click this so we can see a preview of the work we've done so far. So you can see that our player is, uh, I'll make this bigger, our player is going through their idle. Uh, if I push the arrow keys right now, our player doesn't have the other animation set up. That's fine. I'm going to, that's fine because we're going to, I'm going to show you how to set them up. So I'm going to click here to go out of here. Okay, one of the things you might have noticed is our character isn't standing right as far as uh, the ground right here. So we can fix that fairly easily. I'm going to click on player. I'm going to double click on player. We want to scroll down. We're going to go to edit hit boxes. It's important, by the way, that these uh, two settings are to the right, where this uh, share same collision mask for all animations is set to the right. So like this is saying, yes, do that. Same thing here, share same collision mask for all sprites of this animation. You want these to be to the right or this won't work right. So what we want to do is, 
I'll show you why our character isn't sitting right. This is our hitbox, right? So our character is sitting right on this line right here. So we want to adjust this. So the way we can adjust it is we can click use a custom collision mask. Uh, and then after clicking that, now we want to click this plus button to the right. 